am on a roll this morning, friends. Alrighty. Let's sync this up. Maybe I should bring this mic in a little bit more. Hmm. Kind of mess it up the first time, though. Anyways, YouTube friends, what is going on? David Lee back with a brand new a brand new video. Today we're talking about white balance in mixed lighting. For anyone who films events, for anyone who films weddings, in a situation where you don't have control over the lighting, but especially if there is multiple types of lighting. You have LED lighting, you have strobe lighting, you have up lighting, you have all kinds of lights that you just can't control. Even if you can't bring your own light in, if you have a multiple mixture of lights bouncing around and phasing in and phasing out, sometimes having your white balance isn't the most easiest thing. So in this video, I wanna show you guys two things you can use that I have used personally uh, when it comes to filming in events or when it comes to filming in situations where you have just a billion different lights happening at the same time. The first one is an app called Light Spectrum Pro. What Light Spectrum Pro does is it captures in the light hitting the, uh, the camera sensor of your phone. From there, it'll calculate exactly what the white balance is and if it's changing. So literally, if you move your phone from left to right, you'll see that the white balance changes. If you move it from right to left, it's the same thing. It's a quick way to gauge what your white balance, you know, is roughly at. From there, change the white balance in your camera to what Light Spectrum Pro is telling you, and then look at the image, right? Because if Light Spectrum Pro is telling you that you need to be at 3800 Kelvin, and you switch your um, your camera to 3800 Kelvin, look at the actual image. If it's looking too uh, warm or if it's looking too cool, then you know Light Spectrum Pro isn't necessarily like 100% accurate, but most of the time, like 90 plus percent, it'll give you the white balance you need. If you're stuck in a situation where there's just too many different types of light coming at you or hitting your camera sensor, then this is the one time where I will suggest anyone to ever use auto white balance. The reason being is because cameras, especially in this day and age, have really good auto white balancing systems. Whether you're on Sony, Canon, or any other camera manufacturer, auto white balancing can save you in these situations. What I mean by that is the most important thing at the end of the day is getting the shot. It's better to have it than to not have it. However, if your white balance is off, then you know you won't be able to salvage much in post-production. So that's where using auto white balance can actually help you out. By using auto white balance, you can focus more on your composition, you can focus more on capturing the story as it's unfolding and as it's happening with you. And especially when you have purple lights and then orange lights and you have green lights and then blue lights, like that's the last thing you need to be worrying about. Short, sweet, and simple video for you guys. Uh, I know auto white balance and white balancing is probably something that you guys know, uh, but sometimes I figure that it's good to hear from other people, other professionals, um, you know, with how they go about white balancing a scene or if and when they do use auto white balance. And that is it for me, friends. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button as always. Subscribe to my YouTube channel just so you don't know if I have new content coming out. Hit me up on Instagram, at David Lee. Let's talk about some stuff, friends. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. Send me a direct message. I would love to continue this conversation as much as possible with you guys. And as always, remember that every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.